Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a new DXP Cloud feature that is going to allow you to better debug and also diagnose problems with your VPN connection. So let's take a look. Here I have this project called Acme and when I go to settings, I can see this VPN section over here. So what we're going to do now is create a new VPN connection. So I can give any name to that VPN connection and any description. This is helpful if you have multiple VPN servers inside your own company and you want to connect with different ones. And now I can uh, establish that connection by uh, describing the protocol that I, I want to use. In this case, I'm using OpenVPN and not IPsec. And I can now start adding the information to make that connection. So we're going to use this server over here. And now I'm specifying the IP address and the port to connect. And now I'm going to define the account name and password. I'm going to add the certificate and I'm going to select the encryption that I want to make this connection with. The next step is to create a forward forwarding route. So what is this? So this is basically a way for me to create a connection inside my private network and access that VPN as if I was accessing any other service inside my project. So I'm going to define an internal port uh, within this VPN host name here. And now I'm going to describe the destination IP that I want to use. So in this case, this is the IP that I'm using. This is the port that I want to connect with. And now I'm going to start that VPN connection. At this point, I'm, not, I'm just saving that information, just saving the configuration. And once I confirm every single information that I have it over here, okay, this looks good. I can do some sanity check and then I can start the connection. So this is the moment where we're going to create this tunnel between your VPN server and DXP Cloud. And this is going to be an encrypted connection and it's going to allow your services to communicate with your VPN inside that private network. So this is uh, uh, the first thing that you're going to see is the status connecting. And once it's over, now it's connected. So from that point on, we're going to be able to look into more details about the VPN connection. And that's the new feature that I want to show you. So now we have this option over here, see VPN logs. I can click on that option and I can see everything that is happening with this service. So behind the scenes, what we're doing is we're deploying a VPN server uh, service over here. And this VPN service acts like all the other services that you have inside your project. You have your library, your Elasticsearch, your web server, all those services are Docker containers. This is exactly the same thing. So this is a new Docker container that we just deployed. And just a second, it's taking a little bit. Maybe my internet is not uh, so fast right now, but there you go. Uh, now I can see uh, all the VPN logs. So I can see all the information that I need uh, over here. So this is really helpful. And there are different places that you can find this new feature at. So uh, you can find it within the VPN page, also over here on settings, you can click and see the CVPN logs option. And also on the logs page, you can go over here and then filter uh, your VPN logs. So this works as any other logs that you have, right? I can uh, filter logs by date. I can download the logs and I can do anything that I want over here. So for example, I can come here to my terminal and I can fetch the logs from my Acme project and specify the VPN service. So when I do that, I can see all the logs that are running over there inside my terminal. I don't even need to access uh, DXP Cloud. Or over here, I can come and download the logs too. And I can just access that file and look at every line uh, that I have over here. So. Um, I hope this was helpful and I hope this VPN logs are going to give you more visibility into what's happening uh, inside your connection. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you. And as always, if you have any feedback, feel free to uh, give a rating over here inside GXP Cloud. 
and we're gonna definitely uh, see how we can make it better, okay? Thank you so much and see you next time. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.